Hey everyone, welcome back. I hope you're having a great week so far. So today's video is all about a brand new palette from Bad Habit Beauty called Pretty Poison. And when I first saw this on their Instagram, I was so excited because I realized pretty quickly that this palette is an original. And if you're not familiar with Bad Habit Beauty, they're a relatively new brand and they have a lot of palettes out. They release them pretty often. And every single one that they've come out with so far was pretty much a spot on exact dupe for a high end palette. Palette. So I've been waiting for them to do an original and I was racking my brain trying to figure out what does this one look like and I just couldn't figure it out. And based on the comments on social media, nobody else could either. So I'm going to go with that this is an original palette and I'm really happy because I've always thought that they would do a fantastic job if they came up with their own color story because even though they copy the shades in other palettes, I feel like their packaging is always so unique and original as well as the names that they come up with, just like the themes in general of their dupe palettes. They're not trying to be the palette that they're duping. They always kind of come up with their own unique theme. And like I said, the creativity is definitely there. So I knew if they just decided to come out with their own palette, it would be awesome. So let's take a look at the inside because this is so beautiful. So it's mainly, I would say a purple palette and a lot of palettes that have come out lately, like the Norvina palette, for example, People were calling those a purple palette, but really it had a few purple shades and the rest were all neutrals. But in this case, pretty much everything is either purple or has a purple undertone to it. A lot of these pinks are sort of purpley pinks and then you have this one up here, which is stunning. It's a duochrome pink with a purple shift. It's so beautiful, I used that one today and I'll show you that once I do the look a little bit later on in the video. But um, what I wanted to do first is just show you this next to a couple of similar palettes because um, when they first announced this, a lot of people thought it was a dupe for the Natasha Denona Lila palette but um, it isn't because they already have a dupe for that. It's called Supernova, and that one is a shade for shade dupe. They also have a dupe for the Norvina palette, which a lot of people felt that this was similar to as well, and that is their Luna palette. So I wanted to just hold this up side by side with those two palettes so you can see kind of how they differ. So here it is next to the Lila palette. They do look very similar, but on my Instagram page, I actually went ahead and compared the two, and there are only about, I would say, four or five shades in the new Pretty Poison palette that match up. So both of them have that deep purple shade. They have those berry tones. But other than that, Lila has a lot of neutrals in it, while this one definitely takes the purple a step further. And then same thing with the Norvina palette. I feel like the shimmery sort of burnt gold that's in this one is similar to this as well as one of the purple shades but other than that I think they are very different it's almost as if these two palettes had a baby and added a few more purples and pinks and you get this palette so similar vibe but definitely not a dupe for those palettes right there so why don't we go ahead and get into some swatches and then I'll show you how I created this look that I'm wearing today and talk about the formula a little bit so let's take a look at those swatches and you can see them all laid out on the skin and one thing that I really love about this palette is that Every shade is very unique. There's nothing in here that looks the same as something else. The purples are all very distinctly different colors. And even the matte highlight sort of brow bone shade, instead of being more of a cream colored ivory, it has like the slightest violet undertone to it. It's absolutely stunning. Um, there's of course some purples in here. You have that really beautiful pink with the purple shift called Femme Fatale. You have a pretty light gold and then you also have a really deep burnt gold. There's a few pops of berry. There's even like a midnight blue shimmer that is so stunning. I use that on my eyes today as well. And then there's also a duochrome white shimmer shade that has a pinky purple shift to it. So overall, I think they did a fantastic job with this color scheme. It really is something pretty unique because I don't have anything that I could say is exactly like this in my collection. And I love that they added those duochrome shades in there just to make it a little something extra. But I think the main thing I love about this palette is that it's a purple and pink palette with a few pops of neutral instead of the other way around, which most palettes are. So you really be able to get some fun looks out of this. So speaking of looks, let's go into how I created what's on my eyes today. So first up, I started with the matte shade Pierced Heart. This is a really, really light sort of lavender mauve. And I put this in my crease all the way up and blended that one out. 
And the formula of this one is very similar to Bad Habits other palettes. If you haven't tried their eyeshadows in the past, I would say that they compare pretty closely with Lorac. So the matte shades are very silky, very, very easy to blend out. They are a little bit on the powdery side because they're so super soft, but I don't mind that at all. I just tap off the excess and I'm good to go. I would prefer a more blendable shadow versus a dense one, especially with mattes that I'm using in my crease. And then I went in with Nightshade. This is a true matte lavender. It's so beautiful. And I put this one a little lower in my crease as well as all over my lid. And then I grabbed the shade Intoxicated, which is a really deep purple grape color. It has a satin finish and this one I put in my outer corner. This one I had a little bit of trouble blending with my flat brush that I normally use for my outer corner. Um, it went on a little bit patchy. So I ended up using my finger to pat it on and that worked quite a bit better. I don't know if it's because it's not a matte shade, it's more of a satin, um, but this one I did have to apply with my finger and then blend out with a fluffy brush and then that worked okay. And then on my lid, I used the shade Femme Fatale, which is that really gorgeous pink with the purple shift to it. And I applied this with my finger. Bad Habits shimmers, again, similar to Lorac, are extremely buttery and creamy. They go on so nicely with your finger, but they can also apply well with a brush. If you want more intensity, you can always spritz them with a setting spray, but I don't normally have to do that. And then just to deepen up my outer corner a little bit more, I applied the shade Lethal also with my finger, and that's that midnight blue-gray with the sparkle to it. It's beautiful, and that one went on so nicely just with my finger. And I also feel like that just toned down all that purple a little bit. I was starting to feel like the look was getting too crazy with the purple. So I love how that one just took it down a notch. Then I went ahead and lined my eyes with the new CoverGirl liquid eyeliner in black. And if you guys didn't know, CoverGirl is now cruelty free. So that's amazing. And I really like this eyeliner. It was my first time using it, but I love the brush tip, very similar to the Kat Von D tattoo liner and the Jessie's Girl one that I really like as well. I just find a brush tip much easier to use than a felt tips. And then for mascara, I'm using the Obnoxious Volume from Rude Cosmetics. I got this a couple of weeks ago in a package from them and I've been using it the last few days and this makes an incredible impact in just one or two coats. You really don't have to layer this one up because it's incredibly volumizing. Um, so you don't wanna actually go too far with it or it'll start to clump up. But I really, really enjoy this. It seems to be one of those tubing formulas as well. So it doesn't smudge or flake, it lasts all day. So I'm really impressed with this mascara so far. Far. I'm definitely going to keep on using it and I still have to do a rude video coming up really soon so stay tuned for that. So overall I'm really really happy with the way this look came out. It is super purple but at the same time it's not completely crazy or unwearable at all. So, so first impression wise I love the Pretty Poison palette so far. I really feel inspired when I look at these colors because I can do a lot of unique looks with this that I can't with some of my other palettes. Like I said even with purple palettes like Norvina many of the shades in here are just neutral. So if you really wanna have some fun with purples, I think this one is awesome. And don't forget that if you are planning to purchase this, I do have a code which I'll link in the description box below. I'm not gonna put it on the screen because my bad habit codes only last for seven days and then it's gonna be kind of permanently up there and the code's gonna be expired. So if you're watching this more than seven days after it was published, check the description box anyway because I'll update my codes as new ones come in. So that way you could save a little bit of money on it. It retails for $16, but with the code you can get it for $14.40 or so, which is really good for 15 shadows, especially of this quality. All right, guys, that does it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what you thought of this palette and if you're planning to purchase it. I would love to hear your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you'll be notified of future videos and I will see you next time.